that's a brown hooded kingfisher. Yeah, brown hooded kingfisher. I was hoping it was the gray headed, which would be a new one for lots of you. And one of our, what do we call them? Oh, they're just, they're, they're certain species of bird that just somehow we see them when we're off air and then we just don't quite manage to get them on camera. And a grey-headed kingfisher is one such king, one such example. And the brown hooded, unlike the woodlands kingfisher, actually stick around all through the year, so they don't disappear at all. Got so excited! As you can see, quite a sort of a streaky underpart to it, and a dark stripe around its eye. The grey headed is a lot lighter in colour around the head and it's got patches of brown which this particular kingfisher does not have. Chestnut, the book describes it as. I got excited. That's still exciting. We don't see brown hooded kingfishers all that frequently. And it looks very, very pretty in the morning sunlight. Thanks, Megan. Megan agrees. And the woodlands have definitely disappeared off. Brent keeps updating me on the movements of the various birds. He says the cuckoos had reached Kenya and have now moved on. John, you apparently are on 97 on your bird list. Wait. John, I think we should try and get you to 100. I have feel a vague sense of deja vu. John, did you send through? Yes, you, you did tell us that you were on 97 a couple of days ago and I tried to bring you up to 100, but we didn't succeed that one day. This vague feeling that was you, John. We need to get you up to around neat 100. We'll try that this morning. Try and do some unusual birds for you.